yeah, we're fucking back, baby. NFL season. I'm so, I'm jacked up. You're fucking ready. I'm jacked up. I'm ready. I can, I can see the juices flowing through your veins right now. You're yeah. Fucking, you're looking extra fucking swole today. I mean, listen, this is my bread and butter. This is where the sharps get extra sharp. You don't call yourself a sharp and then not get excited for this season. Yep. You're in your zone. You're also Max the Animal. I'm Tony No Dimes. You, you're you. Welcome back to the channel. We're happy to have you here today. Special episode as week one approaches. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through some prize picks plays. You and I, we're going to have a competition throughout the well, season. It's just a little head-to-head, friendly friendly head-to-head. On the best daily fantasy platform out there, prize picks. Use promo code BDGE. Get yourself a 100% deposit match bonus. It's free money. And we're going to be giving you free money all throughout the season yeah. with our plays. Basically, how prize picks work is you're going to uh, make some entries. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making some entries. But there's a little bit of rules here. We're going to be doing a two-square entry. And a four square entry. Power plays. Power plays only. only. Power plays only, pitch. baby. We only do power plays. Um, so yeah, it's really simple. You're just gonna get uh, one point for each, I think, right? We're just gonna go with one that. point for each. Yeah. You don't want to. You want to do more points for hitting the four four square. Two points, one and two. Yeah, sure. That way it's like throughout the season, it just adds an easy math. I need easy I math. Need low Let, numbers. Yeah, let's keep this simple. All right, one point. If I get, if I'm going to say I, because I will get them right. One point for the two square, two points for this four square. Awesome. You want to go right. first? I do, because I'm like so excited about mine. All right. What's your two square? My two square is Saquon Barkley, less than 56 and a half rushing yards, and Austin Hooper, more than 22 and a half receiving That Austin yards. Hooper one is sneaky. It's a sneaky one. He's going to get three catches at least for 40 yards, so that's a lock. Saquon Barkley... 56 and a half, uh, we're taking the, the less than on that because Saquon's going to catch more balls than he will rush. Like, he, his main his main game is catching the balls, receptions. He's not going to run the ball a lot. Giants I probably going to have to play catch up a little bit in this I almost game. took the less than on his uh, rush attempts, but I said, nah, let's just go with the yards. Titans front four, uh, the defense, pretty good too. Just a side note. Whatever. I think it's overrated. Not here, not now. We're not getting into it. I, for my two square, went with Debo Samuel to have more than 50 and a half receiving yards. Such a homer. Dude, George Kittle is very questionable. He may not be there. Debo Samuel also doesn't want to be used as a running back. So what does that mean? He's just going to be catching passes at the line of scrimmage all day long. Even when the Niners get the fat lead against the Bears, they just have to give Debo the ball because they don't know what to do otherwise. They're going to let Mitchell run. They're going to let Debo get a screen. And it's just going to be back and forth all day long. 50 receiving yards from an elite receiver like Debo is a very easy line to hit the more. I'm pairing that on my two square with A.J. Brown to have more than four and a half receptions against the Detroit Lions. This is simple. Detroit Lions, dog shit defense, all right? I think the Eagles want to pass the ball because that's what we saw to begin the year last year for the Eagles. They kind of had to revert to more of a run game because Jalen Hurts, let's be honest, wasn't cutting it. But now he's got A.J. Brown in town. He's going to be slinging that rock. A.J. Brown, five receptions, lock it in. That's my two square. That's ballsy. That's ballsy, A.J. Brown. Got to drop your balls on the table sometime. New team, you don't know if there's rapport there yet. You know, it's just instant chemistry. Instant, like when I see a McDub, that was instant chemistry. I respect it. All right, what's your four square? The four square. Listen, it's not for the week. All no, right, it's not not the week. It's for the week. Uh, it's got a lot of fucking a lot of randomness in it. But here we go. <laughs> here too. we go. I got Chris Olave. More than 40 and a half receiving yards. Look, it's a rookie. It's unknown. We don't know what the connection is, right? Like you were just like I was just bashing you for about the rapport. We and don't know if there's the rapport thing. with Jameis, but he's young and he's explosive and he wants to prove himself and go out there week one and dominate. So I like that line. Amari Cooper, 50 and a half receiving yards. We're going with more. Also no rapport with Jacoby Brissett. Also no rapport, but, but he is the only guy there. And I think people are underestimating Amari Cooper. I think everyone's just underestimating because there's no Deshaun Watson right now. And Jacoby Brisket is not like the, you know. He's not elite. Yeah. He's probably not even good. Yeah. But Amari Cooper is. Exactly. And 50 and a half is not that big of a number for a professional NFL wide receiver. Number also, three. number three, uh, not really random because he's one of my favorite guys in the league. But Let Kirk. Me guess. Oh, oh, this is interesting. All right, go on. Kirk Cousins, more than one and a half passing touchdowns. Oh, you got no. it too? Yeah. That's what? good. Okay, can we do that? Yeah. That's we haven't fine. established these you have rules the same yet. Same other slip as me? Like, no, it's any? just that one square. Yeah, that's it's that fine. one. One square is okay. good. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right. I love it. that. Yeah. Love that one. Right? He, you know he's going to be chucking it 
Packers could be a, a competitive game, but Justin Jefferson going to get his. So he's getting one. I don't know who's getting the other one, but Kirk's throwing it. It feels like every year Kirk Cousins throws like two touchdowns every game. Yeah. Yeah. That's so easy for Kirk. Yeah. I looked up the last game played against the Packers. I think he threw three. Nice. That's all I need. That's all I need is just to go back one game. All um, right. Number four. Number four. It's a kicker. It's Young Way Koo. Whoa. It's Young Way Koo. It's more than. One and a half field goals made. Look, Marcus Mariota is not going to really be able to finish drives, I don't think. I don't think they're going to be scoring a lot of touchdowns in Atlanta. So you know who's coming on the field for those those drives when they can't score? The kicker. And you know who their kicker is? Young Way Koo. And you know who he is? He's Young Way Koo. I like it. I, He's I, good, too. You talked me into it. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the offense of the Falcons is going to have to be carried on the back of Young Way Koo. All right, that's your four square. My four square. You want to talk about randomness? I dove deep into the interception lines. I don't know how I got there, but I got there. And I got two for you, all right? Two? Two of them. Jeez. I got Baker Mayfield to throw more than half an interception. Look. Okay, so he's throwing an interception. He's throwing an interception. Baker Mayfield, he, he has that kind of like gunslinger a little bit to him. I think he can get a little reckless on the field. And the Browns, they know how to guard Baker Mayfield. They know his ins. They know his outs. They know his sleep schedule, his eating habits. They know everything about him, all right? On the other side, I got Justin Herbert to not throw an interception against the Raiders. Perfection. Justin Herbert, he's perfect. You look at his hair, you look at his face, even the way he speaks, perfect, all right? There are no blemishes on Justin Herbert. He's not throwing a pick against the Raiders. I feel like the Chargers dominate the Raiders, too. Can't really prove that with any Except step. for the last game they played where they lost. That's but, factual. That's know, actual factual. Whatever. But they kind of beat themselves in that game. Yeah, I mean, it's classic Chargers. It's that every, wasn't Herbert. That's every game the Chargers fucking play. Fair. Number three, I got Matt Ryan to throw more than 230 passing yards in the game against the Houston Texans. Houston Texans have a dog shit defense. I actually think the Colts are going to be a very fast-paced offense compared to last year. Also, I think the Texans might come out and surprise people, not in the terms of like they're going to win this game, but they're just going to they're going to be more effective on offense than people want to give them credit for. So I think this game could actually be a little bit of a shootout. Matt Ryan, dude, 230 for Matt Ryan, Matty Ice under pressure, no sweat. I love me some Matt Ryan this year. I'm going to be taking a lot of his mores throughout the year. And then my last one was Kirk Cousins over one and a half touchdowns. More. More. More than one and a half touchdowns. More. Give me more, Kirk. I like how we both like Kirk. That's, yeah. You know, that's good for you me. You and Kirk just in a in a little three-way. All right. So uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll recap and uh, see who is uh, ahead in points after this weekend. It'll probably be a 0-0 tie, but... Don't say that. Have some faith. I'm confident in Reverse jinxing. You ever heard of it? The RJ. I'm, I'm throwing out an RJ. I'm confident in my entries. I'm confident in my squares. I ain't a square, all right? I'm a sharp. So it's simple. Use prize picks. Use promo code BEG. Cool. And uh, follow... I mean, you're going to have to choose a side eventually. I'm not going to make you do it week one, but you're going to have to ride with me. Or you're going to have to ride with Tony. So yeah. fucking figure it out after this week and then choose your destiny. Team Animal, Team No Dimes. Yes. Now speaking The choice of, is yours. Speaking of choosing, we are about to choose some... Pick'ems. Pick'ems. In a very exciting new segment, the Pick'em Draft. The way this goes is we have the board... Of all these games, all the spreads, all the totals, all right? We need to assemble, essentially, a team of five. Yes. Your team must come with one favorite minus the points, a dog plus the points, an over and an under. The rule is, is that when the draft starts... And, uh... And a flex. I almost forgot the most important part. The my flex. least favorite of the of the five. So. That's actually my favorite. I think I that's where the most have, strategy I comes not in. Said anything. I would have remembered yeah. as the draft went on. Thank you flex for reminding me. Flex can be anything. Flex is anything, like just half, like in fantasy uh, football. Yeah, it could be an over, an under, yeah. a favorite, a dog. Like first half. No, we're not doing halves here. We're not doing halves. It could be here. anything but first halves. Whatever. I didn't even look at them. I just wanted. Yeah. To neither. Bust I balls. know you did. I don't know why you. Yeah. I don't know why you're doing that, to said, me. buddy. You know, gotta get your head. We're about to draft. You are getting in my head. Do I have to go first too? You do have to go we, first. We, I'm going to let you go first to start week one. Maybe go back and forth, right? Um, like also, on the odd weeks, you will go first. 30 seconds out. on the clock. 30 seconds. So there is, a, we don't know who, you know, this is obviously, we're, we're going live here. We don't know who drafting what. So um, also one more rule to throw out. Once you take oh, a, yes. once you take a bet on a game, that game is off the board. Yes. So the Bills Rams game is going on right now. Yes. For example, if I were to take the Bills minus two, yes. that entire game is no longer on the yes. board. I can't take an over there. I can't take an under from there. I you can't, can't take, take the Rams opposite. Yes. So it's done. Yes. Done. Strategy. Strategy to the maximum. Yes. Oh, man. First pick. I'm excited. I, I think this is going to be a good segment. Uh, it's going to be a fun show. So without further ado, 
Yeah, I'm ready to go. First pick. I don't even need to put. You don't even need to put the time on the clock, dog. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping track of what games yeah, off the I board. Only have not my phone with like six percent battery. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, I'll try to keep track of time. I'll try to keep track of who's drafting what. But 30 seconds on the clock. Who is your first pick? Okay, I'm going to take the under. In the Washington Commanders, Jacksonville Shit. Jaguars game, under 43 and a half. I took the under because under is, I think, the hardest thing to pick this week. And uh, that one, it looks like the best. That's fair. <laughs> All right. I, that is unfortunate because I really like the Jags as dogs. But that game is now off the board. You're damn right. Uh, I'm going to go with a favorite, even though... Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to go with an under. I think there's a lot of favorites to be chosen here. I'm going to go with the Bucks and the Cowboys under. Um, you know, both those offensive lines are just dismantled. And I think uh, with all the injuries on both sides, it's just going to be a low score. It's a, it's a big total. 51. I think I'm looking at a 51. I'm taking the under Bucks Cowboys. Yeah, I had 50 and a half. I'll give you that if you want. I'll be generous. All right. Thank you. I love that. I was going to take the over in that. Really? Yeah. So you just sniped me. Awesome. But also you should feel stupid because I had the opposite. All right. I'm going to take. it's a lock. Uh, shit. Now I'm panicking. 30 seconds. Uh, now I'm panicking. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I don't have an over anymore. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take the, that time. I'm going to, I'm going to take the Texans plus seven and a half. So that's your dog. That's my dog. Plus seven and a half. Look, they're home dog. Week one, you got to go with the home dogs. I think the Colts are, um, are, are being, everyone's overrating them. They're, they're, they're good, but I think they're, they're not as good as everyone thinks. Damn. I kind of like the Colts as a favorite. I, I also like the over in that game, so that is off the board. You're Man, this right. is way harder than I thought it was. I, know, I like I'm, it. I'm just going to take what I like, all right? I'm not going to worry too much about strategy week one. I got I to gotta fill you out a little bit. I got to know what you want to go with. I'm taking the Eagles as a favorite. Minus four. Fuck are you, you kidding me? Eagles are going to kill the Lions. It's going to be a bloodbath on the field. I don't give a fuck about hard knocks. I don't give a fuck about Dan Campbell's and his... Kneecap Where are you bitch ass getting your shit lines from? I got four? minus three and a half. I'll take three and a half. Yeah, I, like I was being generous and saying Eagles minus four. I, I hate lines with no hook. Okay, three and a half. Three and a half. I don't hey, want pushes. Look, in real life, I have this bet at three and a half. I thought no, I was being generous. Still three I thought and a half. I was reciprocating the generosity. I'm being, I'm being generous, giving you all these these point halves, these these hooks. All right. All right, you got a dog and an under. I got an under and a favorite. And I got a favorite because it's the Tennessee Titans. <sighs> minus five and a half against the New York Giants. They're at home. The Giants are not good. The Titans are going to kill them. They're just such a better team. Derrick Henry's going to run it up their throats. Not I, down, up. I, he's coming from behind. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the Giants as dogs. Not that I would... I'm not betting the Giants in real life, but in this situation, I could definitely see well, myself you, taking them. You can't. Cannot. I'm going to take an over. I'm going to take an over of the Pats and the Dolphins because... I think the Dolphins are going to be a big over team this year. I think they obviously they have greatly improved their offense with, you know, Tyreek Hill, Mike McDaniel. And I think the Patriots, their defense is just not there. It's kind of a low total in the 40 range. What do you see? I'm, I'm seeing like 40. Yeah, 46 and a half. 46? Yeah. Over. Over. I'm all over that over. All right. I respect it. Yeah, you don't have any. Yeah, I didn't snipe you on anything. No, nah, I wasn't looking at that game. It wasn't even on my board. All right, fair. I'm, I am struggling though to take an over now because I only had one selected, so like I wasn't prepared enough. <laughs> but um, you have an under, a dog, and a favorite. Yeah, I'm going to take my over here. I'm just going to get it out of the way because it's the only one that I think is. Um, I've not been keeping up with the clock, but I'm starting your 30 seconds now. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'm going to go with. Hmm, I'm debating between two. Debating between two. You're I'm going to take the. Wait, did you take? Is the is the 49ers Bears game still on? It's on the board. I'm taking the over 40 and a half. It's such a low total. Everyone's thinking these teams are both going to have very crappy offenses. And I kind of agree. But I think 40 and a half is just doable. Just doable in any NFL game. You get a little overtime. You know, that's such it. Such a low total. It's such a low total. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is that my clock? No. Yeah. You wow. got it. Got it just in time. Yeah. Like 10 seconds ago. All right. Uh, I got an under. I got a favorite. And I got an over. You know what? I'm just going to go with another favorite. My first flex spot. Ah, shit. Do I want to do that? No, I don't. I really don't. What the hell do I need? I need a dog? I need a dog. Give me the... This is a principal pick. Give me the Steelers as my dog. Plus six and a half. Uh, I just think Mitch Trubisky, weirdly enough, is an upgrade over Ben Roethlisberger. We're talking about the Steelers who probably have the best defense, at least one of the best defense in the NFL. I don't think the Bengals are fading off by any means, but a divisional game. Uh, is this in Pittsburgh? I wish I looked that up before. But if it's in Pittsburgh, I like this even greater. It's not in Pittsburgh. Damn. It's in Cincinnati. Well, my hands off the chess piece. Steelers plus six and a half. That is my dog. All right, my flex. My flex. Who's your flex? My flex. Flex it for me, baby. I'm going to flex it for you, baby. 
Um, can I take a team total over? No. Me, no. No. It's a you, it's a full game, both sides. You knew the rules. Don't the, be rules throwing, the rules suck. Don't be throwing shit did, out did there. Did you take the Ravens game? The Ravens game is still on the board. It is, really? Yes. I'm just going to take the Ravens minus six and a half. Ravens. Oh, okay. Ravens has a favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for that's, sure. Yeah, that's that's a good one. No, no this Zach is my Wilson. Flex. Yeah, it's your flex. Yeah. But Another yeah, favorite in the flex. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit, I can't believe you didn't take that. I was looking at him. The problem is, is I have so many favorites this week, so I'm also going to take a favorite as my flex. It comes down to two choices. I'm not exactly sure who I want to take. I'll tell you what. It's coming down between the Saints and the Broncos. Do I want to do you dirty and take your hometown team of the Broncos? Minus six and a half against the dog shit Seahawks. Or the Saints in the divisional game, five and a half. Oh, man. I really like the over in that Saints game, not to like... Uh, no, if anything, I'm taking them as a favorite. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah. Oh my God! I'm taking the Saints. I'm taking the Saints. I'm taking the Saints. I don't want to wait till Monday night. I want to know if I'm winning on Sunday. So That's I'm taking the Saints the as a favorite. I like that. I kind of like that we left Monday game I, off, so we'll know who won this week yeah, now, on Sunday. Now that we should actually just not include Monday night games. We'll see. We might have to during the bye weeks. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, if we don't have to, but yeah, gentlemen's agreement. We'll try to avoid Monday's yes. game. I respect you. Fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little. Uh, not, so, not so good about the Ravens just because of the Joe Flacco revenge game aspect. I kind of overlooked it a little bit. I the, think you're totally in the, chilling. in the heat of the moment. Let's be real. Joe Flacco is not better than Zach Wilson. So we don't want to talk about Joe Flacco for the next five minutes? I mean, we can. I'd just rather well, we I recap. Don't want to. Okay, okay. I don't want to. Okay. But real real quick, let's recap our drafts. Let's go with, see what we got. My team. I started with the Bucks Cowboys under. I believe the total was 51. I took the Eagles minus three and a half as a favorite against the Lions. I took the over of 46 Patriots Dolphins game took the Steelers as a dog plus six and a half and then I took the Saints as favorites minus five and a half that's my team put a favorite in the flex you did the same you started off with taking the under of the Jaguars commanders game do you remember the total on that one I believe it was 43 and a half. Whatever. We'll have graphics up there, and I'll have the numbers coming correct, so don't you worry. If you're listening to this on a podcast, I apologize. I don't. You shouldn't. It's fucking 20. Watch a video. I enjoy a good podcast every now and then. it's not bad if you're driving, I guess. Yeah. You're in the shower. If you're in the shower listening to this. If you're naked listening to this, talk about some ball. Yeah, it was 43 and a half, though. I have photographic memory. All right, so that was your first pick. Your second pick was the Houston Texans as a dog. I believe you got them at seven, plus seven. Uh, Seven and a half. Plus seven and a half. Big hook there. Then you went with a favorite in Tennessee. Minus five and a half. Minus five and a half against the Giants. Then you went with the over of the 49ers Bears game. 40 and a half. 40 and a half. Very low total. And then in your flex spot, you went with a favorite Ravens minus six and a half. Let us know in the comments. Who do you yeah, think had the better draft? Who are you riding. rolling with? Who riding you rolling? with. Riding. Riding? Rolling. Riding. I probably ride. I think riding. You being part of Broncos country, I think you ride. Yeah. As Me you being from the Bay Area, I roll. Let's ride. Animal country. Let's ride. Not bad. I liked it. it Animal country. Let's ride. All right. That's our show. Yeah, dude. So again, waiting 20 minutes to fucking eat these. Yeah, chow down. Let us know what your favorite flavor is. Oh, it's the orange one. Easy? Yeah, you know that? Why it's the best? They, Why? They, look, they don't even put them in. There's one in here. One orange Ooh, one. Ooh, the there. rare orange. Exactly. I used to, you know what I used to do? I would get these, and if you get two, you can make a full orange. So I would see how many full oranges I could make. You had a weird childhood. Let's end on that. Yeah. But again, use promo code BDG at Price Picks. Get yourself a 100% deposit match bonus. Thank you for listening. Max we'll the be Animal. back Monday to recap. Yes, big recap on Monday. Max the Animal, Tony No Dimes, we're out of here.